I have two questions. As the blessed month of Ramadan has started, it is observed and seen that before Ramadan, some businessmen start stocking up consumable goods to sell in future at high rates. They stock up goods three or four months before Ramadan to sell in Ramadan. Would you be kind enough to guide in this regard? And my second question is, unfortunately, it is also observed in this month that businessmen sell underweight products and products are also sold at high price and sometimes it is observed customers do not get exact quantity of products they paid for what would you say in this regard mashallah in relation to stocking up goods like wheat and other things how people stock up these items is that they stock up in such a large quantity that it inflates the prices and the people all around struggle this is what stocking up is now if Stocking up was done, but it did not inflate the prices like merchants and traders sometimes do and the prices did not go up Then such stocking up is not forbidden Now because the question was about stocking up goods That's why I just clarified that what kind of stocking up is prohibited now as for the well-being of the Muslims and having Good conduct with them. Let's talk about this now. It is a fact that people normally do these kinds of things unfortunate it is it's due to their greed they stock up the necessary items and then they sell when the prices go up now because of this people struggle a lot they face hardships so such people should not do this rather keep reasonable prices such prices upon which you yourself are satisfied so one should be selling everything at a reasonable price. And if there's a poor person or an honorable Sayyid, then try to sell them at a cost price. No matter if there's a little bit of shortage in your profit, a small shortage wouldn't make a big difference. If you sacrifice a bit of your profit for a Sayyid, then their grandfather will give you so much that will be sufficient for your seven generations. Inshallah, Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. So if you sympathize with the Muslims and carry out their well-being, then inshallah we'll succeed in both worlds. In Ramadan, we should observe more well-being of the Muslims, as this is the month to earn reward. And one name of this month is the month of Mawasat. And Mawasat, what does it mean? Condoling and sympathizing. The month of Mawasat. So in this month, instead of sympathizing with the Muslims, our people are busy in robbing and stealing them. It is understood that people buy dates in this month to break their fast with. And if someone opens someone's fast with only one date or anything else, one date or a sip of water or anything, a person offers it to his fellow Muslim for him to open his fast with, then he will get the same amount of reward as the fasting person. And the fasting person will not miss on any. Besides, the glad tidings of forgiveness as well and much more. So that's the reward of serving iftar to one Muslim. So how great it would be if you sell dates at a reasonable price and then try to take out a fresh and ripe date and request smilingly to the fasting person that please break your today's fast with this very date and don't include that date in the total weight. Inshallah, you will succeed in both worlds. But our state is completely opposite. Forget about giving one extra date. Of a greed makes us give less dates than what he actually paid for. So deceiving customers while selling and underweighing a selling item is a severe sin. May Allah Almighty have mercy upon us. So a person should be generous in weighing his items that he is selling or at least weigh it correctly. It doesn't matter if we give extra to the customer. What we need to be mindful of is that the customer doesn't get less. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ala muhammad